Reading 95 from the Psychological Commentaries on the Teaching of Gurdjieff and Uspinski by Dr. Maurice Nichol, Volume 3. Great Amwell House, October 25, 1947. The Work Octave 2. We are taught that an ascending octave starts with passive dough. The work octave does not start with work, but with valuation. It does not, for instance, start with thinking one can do and all the consequences that arise from that illusion. To think one can do. To think, for example, that one can easily change one's being and become different and behave differently if one wants to is to think from active dough. What does it mean to start from passive dough? Some people think they can do anything by force. They think perhaps that they can compel people to believe in God by violent measures and through fear of consequences. This is starting from active dough. It is starting from the wrong attitude. To start from passive dough is an entirely different thing. It is very interesting to study at different times what it means and how one continually tries to start from active dough and continually fails because one has not begun rightly. As was said, the work octave begins not with doing, but with valuation. Since it is an ascending octave, it must start with passive dough. For all ascending octaves start from passive dough. In this case, then, the valuation of the work must constitute a passive dough. Now, your whole attitude towards a thing you value is quite different from your attitude towards things you do not value. That is to say, your psychological state is quite different in each case. You must understand that a wrong psychological state is just as real in its effects as trying to open a door with the wrong key. Valuation of the work is the right psychological state to begin with. Through valuation, a thing becomes precious to you. Through valuation, you care for and remember a thing. Through valuation, you have patience to find out more about it. Through valuation, if it is great, you regard yourself as of secondary importance in comparison to what you value because what you value is greater than you. The work is greater than oneself, and so the approach to it is through valuation. There are many parables about valuation, such as the parable of the merchant who sought goodly pearls, and having found one pearl of great price, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. And the parable of the man who found treasure hidden in a field. And to his joy he goeth and selleth all that he hath and buyeth that field. You can understand from them what valuation means, and so what starting from passive dough means. The work says that a man must believe in greater mind. To me, it was evident at an early age that this work, this system that we study every day, came from a mind far above ordinary mind, and one that was possessed of a knowledge beyond human knowledge. So when we were told that it was useless doing this work unless one believed in the existence of greater mind, no difficulties arose in me, because I had already come to that conclusion that the system came from greater mind, that is, from conscious humanity. Now, if a man feels he knows better than the work, he cannot do the work, because he cannot sound the note do. To start from the note re, which is the application of the work to oneself, to make re into do, is impossible. I mean, it will lead nowhere. The man is starting from the wrong place in himself. He is putting the valuation of himself before everything else. He thinks he knows, and he thinks he can do. He does not see that he knows nothing, or that such knowledge as he has contradicts itself. Nor does he see that he always does the same things over and over again. That is, he does not realize that his doing is simply the result of mechanicalness. He imagines he is fully conscious, has will, can do, and so on. 
you have heard sufficiently, often, how all these illusions have to be broken. How? By a man slowly seeing for himself that they are illusions, and that hitherto he has been sitting in a public house, drunk, with dreams about himself. This is called beginning to awaken from sleep, and there is a strange, harsh taste connected with it, quite unlike any of the tastes of life. Now if a person does not value, and ascribes everything to himself, his work will lead nowhere, because, as I said, the man is starting from the wrong place in himself. He is starting from false personality. You will remember that what is done from personality is done through the force of external circumstances. External circumstances make you act. You are not free. That is, you cannot do. External circumstances acting on your machine cause it to react. This is not doing in the work sense. The machine does, not you. In fact, there is no you. That is, no real I. What you call I is nothing but a changing collection of eyes in the personality acted on at the moment by external circumstances. To begin to do, one must stop the reactions of certain eyes. That is, not do. All you can do is to remember yourself. To continue, if there is little or no valuation of the work, it cannot begin in the right place. It is a practical question, like sowing seed in the right place. Of course, valuation increases as Ray and me sound stronger. But if you have possessed magnetic center, the note dough will sound early and clearly. Things will get cold. However, unless you constantly return in your mind to the work and relate it each day to your self-observation and to all you remember and to what you want, for what you want will gradually get more and more distinct. Now, to turn to the note Ray. At Ray, you have to learn all the work teaches, to learn the language of the work and to apply it to yourself. This takes a long time. In fact, one's life application begins with self-observation and you will not keep conscious of yourself in this respect unless your valuation is strong enough to supply you with the necessary emotional force to make effort every day from your understanding we all need to work but do not criticize another's way of working if you must criticize begin with yourself it is not merely that people have to learn the language of the work they have to learn the meaning it is not the words, but the meaning. And you can only learn meaning by seeing the truth of it for yourself, because interiorly we are all open to truth, while exteriorly we are all open to lies, that is, to life. Now let us touch the note me for a moment. Here you realize, on a wider and wider scale, the city of yourself, of which you took yourself as the sole inhabitant, and the note fa becomes possible, not in all probability, as you may have conceived. And it is here that you learn to speak and understand the language of the work. Here, for instance, you know you cannot do, and here you know that others cannot do, and so you do not speak always as if you or others could do. This already is a great difference in you. And because you know and understand yourself better and have lost many conceits, you know and understand others and cease to judge them. It is when you have reached this stage that the work itself may begin to speak to you internally, because you have learned something of the language in which it speaks. This is why the note fa becomes possible. 